As part of coalition talks, Economic Freedom Fighters, EFF, leader Julius Malema has taken a crucial political move by directly pleading with President Cyril Ramaphosa for the speaker seat in the National Assembly. Before we continue, please kindly hit on the subscribe button. This move might alter legislative power structures and herald a new era in South Africa's political dynamics. According to those familiar with the talks, Malima underlined the significance of the Speaker's role in guaranteeing equitable representation and efficient legislative supervision during a private meeting with Ramaphosa. Securing this position, in the opinion of the EFF, would improve its capacity to influence legislative processes and forward its policy agenda. Malima allegedly said to Ramaphosa, We are ready to work together, but our participation depends on having a major position in Parliament. In order to keep the legislative process balanced and guarantee that all perspectives are heard, the speaker role is essential. The EFF's demand comes at a time when negotiations for a coalition are intensifying as different political groups work out power-sharing plans in advance of the next legislative session. Malima's suggestion to Ramaphosa highlights the EFF's calculated move to increase its power in the legislative branch. Ramaphosa is alleged to have reacted cautiously, even though he acknowledged the EFF's influence in politics, the president did not completely reject the EFF's proposal, but he did emphasize the need of consistency and stability in the National Assembly's leadership. We recognize the value of cooperation and representation. Ramaphosa pointed out that such a choice has to be carefully thought out and consulted with all coalition partners. According to political commentators, giving the EFF the speakership might provide both chances and difficulties. On the one hand, it may make legislative procedures run more smoothly and improve inter-party collaboration. Conversely, it might cause conflict between the ANC and other coalition members who are vying for powerful roles. As talks go on, it is still unclear how Malima's demand will be met. But this audacious proposal demonstrates the EFF's resolute strategy for obtaining a significant position in South Africa's legislative system. The parties are working to complete agreements, and the next few days will be crucial to the coalition discussions. Depending on the outcomes of these crucial talks, there might be major changes in the political environment. Once more, the African National Congress, ANC, is said to have excluded the Progressive Caucus, a recently established parliamentary faction, from the establishment of the Government of National Unity, GNU. The ANC is accused by the Progressive Caucus, which is made up of independent lawmakers and a number of minor parties, of picking coalition partners with preference for certain parties and ignoring others in favor of wider representation. The Progressive Caucus, which was formed to support a more open and inclusive approach to administration, voiced their concerns on Monday during a news conference held at Parliament. Namsam Thembu, the group's spokeswoman, attacked the ANC's coalition-building procedure, saying it was unfair and opaque. We are quite dissatisfied with the ANC's strategy for creating the GNU. The opinions of minor parties and independent members, who account for a sizable share of the electorate, have been disregarded in favor of interactions with parties that closely resemble their own, Mthembu said. The Progressive Caucus claims that the ANC's choice to keep them out of important talks and negotiations goes against the essence of a GNU which is meant to promote harmony and group decision-making in tackling the problems facing the country. The organization contends that being left out is a squandered chance to give fresh viewpoints and creative ideas. Meanwhile, the African National Congress, ANC, has defended its coalition-building approach, claiming to have spoken with a broad spectrum of people and groups. The African National Congress, ANC, is still dedicated to establishing a government of national unity that represents the many interests of South Africa. Spokeswoman Pule Mabe said in response to the accusations, we have had in-depth discussions and taken choices based on the need for strong and stable governance. The Progressive Caucus, however, maintains that the ANC has only had limited and biased discussions. They contend that the ANC has marginalized smaller but important political groupings in favor of alliances with bigger parties like the Democratic Alliance, DA, and the Nkata Freedom Party, IFP. The ANC's commitment to genuine inclusion and representation is seriously called into doubt by our absence from the GNU deliberations. We are prepared and eager to make positive contributions to our nation's government. 